Hey everyone, what is up? Today is day 25 of the Zero Startup in 30 Day Challenge. And today we're gonna to go over Gmail and email account setup. Now this is another one of those ones that isn't required and I could have put it in the beginning of the course or towards the end or not at all. But having a professional looking email say tim at damngoodbrew.co opposed to damngoodbrew at gmail.com makes a huge difference. It makes you look more professional and you can start reaching out to other people, maybe for suppliers or potential customers. If they see you using just a regular Gmail account, then they're not really going to take you seriously maybe all the time. But if they see your brand as your email domain, then it gives you a little bit more legitimacy to your company. Thus far, we've leveraged a ton of free resources that don't really require us to pay up front until we start getting a ton of users. But email is one of those ones that we're gonna end up paying for it. The only way you can get by free is if you do an email forward. So that say if you have info at damngoodbrew.co, all those emails would get forwarded to your Gmail account or something. And it wouldn't, the user wouldn't see it from their side. The problem is you wouldn't be able to respond to anybody. If you wanted to respond, then you have to respond to that Gmail account that it got forwarded to. So it's, it can only receive emails. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and set up our own business email and we're gonna leverage Gmail. So just like you have your Gmail account, you log in, you see your email, you could do the same thing with a Gmail business account, but instead of say Tim at gmail.com, it'll be Tim at damngoodbrew.co. So it'll have the same Gmail interface, but a different email address without that at Gmail at the end of it. Now do take into consideration, this does cost about $5 a month there are some other services that you could probably get it down to two or three dollars a month, but I really like using Gmail. It's what I use for my regular email all the time. So it's easy to just use the same app for business and personal email and switch back and forth within the app. So you're not gonna miss any emails in the future. So in today's video, we're gonna go through and go step by step of how to change our name cheap domain settings to allow Gmail to start accepting emails from that damngoodbrew.co domain. If you're watching this on YouTube, go to usefullyuseful.ly to subscribe to get a step-by-step -step tutorial video on how to do this with your own website. I'll also have a blog post with some of the steps required and settings that you have to change in Namecheap if you want to do this to your own website. See ya!